You want to make a paper server, probably because you either want better performance on your Minecraft server or you want to add plugins to your Minecraft server. Let's go ahead and jump into it. First things first, go here. This is the second link in the description down below, and that will take you to our in-depth text guide on making a paper Minecraft server. On this page, though, go ahead and click Download Paper MC to go to Paper's official download page. Here, select Paper, and then you want to find the 1.21 version. Now, if it says 1.21 here, awesome it's released that means that it's out of the experimental stage but as of right now you have to click toggle experimental builds and then once you see 1.21 go ahead and click paper and the download will begin you may need to keep or save this now i do want to mention that this server is not up all the time it's only up when your computer's up and running and it's not meant to be public it's only meant for your friends your family people you would invite over to your house plus it's hosted on your own computer meaning you need a good computer with a good cpu and a lot of ram and you need a really good internet connection Connection. Because you're hosting a server, everyone who joins the server is using your internet. And because of that, they're also using your public IP, meaning anyone who joins this server can figure out where you live down to your latitude and longitude coordinates and even DDoS you, which basically means hit your internet offline. Basically meaning this is a server meant for your friends, your family, people you trust. What if you don't want to have to deal with any of that though? You just want to make a server as quickly and easily as possible without having to worry about security, worrying about who joins it, who gets the IP, all of that stuff. Well, that's where our company, Simple Game Hosting, comes in. Go to the first link in the description down below, thebreakdown.xyz slash simple, to set your very own 24-hour ddos protected Minecraft server for you and your friends. You can easily create a paper server and add plugins to it in just a few minutes. Plus, if you decide you want a modded server with Forge, Fabric, Neo Forge, or even mod packs on your server, there is a one-click mod pack installer making that super easy. So from plugins to mods to everything in between, you can customize your server exactly how you want it, and yes, including starting a paper server. Plus, there's expert live chat support there to help you out should you run into any issues, and you don't have to worry about security, hardware, or anything like that. Simple Game Hosting takes care of all of it for you. So start your server the simple way at the first link in the description down below, the breakdown to XYZ slash simple. Now, if you do want to start a server on your computer, we've got paper downloaded. Let's go ahead and do it. Minimize your browser and make a new folder on your desktop. So right-click, new folder, and we're going to name this paper 1.21 Minecraft server. You can name it anything that you want though. Open this up and then we want to move into this folder that paper file we downloaded. So right here it is. We're going to drag that to our desktop and then we'll drag and drop this into that paper 1.21 server. So as you can see, this is where we're at. Next, what we want to do is create a new text document. So right click in here, create a new text document and then open that new text document. In this, what we'll want to do is actually go to the description of this video. There you will find this. These are different codes depending on how much RAM you want your server to have. By default, we have two gigabytes or four gigabytes, but you can up this number here to change that. We're going to go ahead and go with four gigabytes because, well, that's generally the best for servers. And then we can paste that in here, or I should say the best for like very simple, basic paper servers. Click file, save as on your new text document. Once that code is pasted, make sure it starts with Java and ends with pause by the way and then we want to go ahead and change this save type as to all files the file name is run.bat again confirming save type as all files clicking save and now we'll have this run file it might not be .bat at the end and if you want it to be the same as mine come up here to the top and click view and make sure file name extensions is checked now the last thing we want to do is rename this paper file so right click on it and rename it to simply paper.jar if you don't have file name extensions on by the way it won't be .jar it would just be called paper now double click on that run.bat file and the server is going to try to start it's going to fail though that's because we need to agree to the minecraft eula but it needs to generate first which is what we're doing that is assuming you have minecraft java if for whatever reason the server doesn't start it's because you need java specifically java 21 which is now required for minecraft 1.21 it wasn't required for previous versions but for this one it is so you need this most recent version of java java 21 it's linked in the description down below with an in-depth guide on how to get java 21 once you've got that you may also need to run the jar fix this is going to take those jar files like the paper jar file and link it back to java but first get java 21 then run the jar fix and if for whatever reason your server didn't start and you didn't get these files and folders well then that will be fixed. You'll be able to run the that file and now get these files and folders. We can press any key to continue over here to close out of this and we can have this eula.txt file. 
open this in notepad and then change EULA equals false here to simply EULA equals true. So EULA equals true, T-R-U-E, exactly like that. And then click file, save. That is assuming you agree to the Minecraft EULA. Now we can double click that run.bat file and your server will start. Your paper server is online and good to go. So we can go ahead and join it. Now at this point, you're the only person that can join this server. Your friends can't join it, but it's worth trying at this moment to see if you can join it. Because if it's lagging with just you online, it's definitely going to have issues when your friends join. So I'm going to launch Minecraft 1.21 and join this server. So here we are in Minecraft 1.21. We can go to multiplayer, proceed, and then we can add a server here. Now we can name this whatever we want. I'm going to name it local connection because it's the local connection. Only you can use this, meaning it's local to your computer. For the server address, localhost is the IP address we're going to use exactly like that. Localhost, all one word, and then click done. Now we have this local connection and we can double click to join the server. We'll see us pop in on the left hand side and we are now on this server. Things are looking good. However, what if you want your friends to join? Well, in order for your friends to join, you're going to need to port forward. And in the description down below, there's an in-depth guide on port forwarding that goes over everything you need to know to port forward for a Minecraft server. We've got it in text format. We've also got it in video format. Super helpful and worth checking out. And you have to do it if you want your friends to play on this server with you. Keep in mind, you don't have to do that if you're using simplegamehosting.com. But nevertheless, at this point, we can go ahead and look at other things you can do with this server, like add plugins. In the description, we have a link to this. This is our guide on Minecraft plugins. Tons of amazing plugins are in here. If you wanted to add more RAM, here's a more in-depth guide on that. If you port forward and your friends can't join, that's what this guide's for. It'll help fix that. And speaking of fixing things, there is a 20-minute guide on fixing broken Minecraft servers. You're now a Minecraft server admin. So watching this video can help you pick up the common issues you could run into when hosting a server and it's worth checking out for sure. Nevertheless, at this point, if you wanted to add plugins, you could easily do that by going into the plugins folder and adding them here. Just drag and drop the jar files into this plugins folder and you would need to restart the server and then they'll be active. You can see what plugins are active by coming over in the console and typing in plugins. When you do that, it will generate any plugins that are installed. As you can see, zero are installed right now, but if we had some, they would be listed. Now we can go ahead and stop our server by typing stop right like so and hitting enter, and that's gonna properly stop our server. Make sure you do that every time you stop your server. But now you have a paper server in Minecraft 1.21. We'll see you in the next video. I am out. Peace.